Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Rev, and this is the Beginner's Guide to Planet Explorer. So, at this point, hopefully you have gotten all of your iron and wood that you need. I already have it. And I wanted to make sure to tell you guys that they will put your planes somewhere. And I would make a point of getting them, since if um, you get attacked while you're away and your planes are out, they're going to get damaged, so you got free planes for a bit. Never know, might need them again. So now we head back to Trading for Peace or the Punjan Camp. Alrighty, folks, hold on, we'll be right back. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, hold on. Uh, let me get space in the track. Uh -oh. Are we gonna get attacked by something? There you go. Thank you, Sky Person Rev. With this action, we see that you da da da. Mm hmm. Bioweapon released by the Panja. And again. Okay, so now we go back to the colony. Ooh, let's see if he actually stays here or disappears on me. Wrong guy. What Mike, do you want okay, now? okay. Good, good. Looks like the relationship is off to a good start. Hopefully they're not going to ask for any more tricks. I didn't expect them to actually agree to that. Okay, we'll follow up and set it up through our trade post building in the colony. Maybe we can trade resources for some of their foods. I bet our colonists would love that. How's it going? We need to destroy the virus makers. Who knows if they're capable of developing other forms of bioweapon viruses or not. You can take care of the three to the north. We'll take care of the rest. Three? Ugh. Alrighty, folks. So, this is gonna be one jumping around episode. Oh, hey, ho! We got a dude here. What's up, dude? second and when we come back I got plenty of money I'm gonna go buy all this stuff and then we'll continue on with the close here and see what he has to say so hold on folks we'll be right back oh level okay holy crap it until he has something better to say because ooh that hurt okay here we go oh you barely hear him see Marshal Cohen is pulling up his last struggle one of the Cougians covered me on the head yeah switch sides to be sure simply I can still see so is that it? That's it. Okay. Ooh, my memory is not as good as it used to be. Alright, folks, we are back. Just wanted to apologize for that last section. Man, 
Sometimes the audio gets a little wonky in this game. I don't know if it's a bug or what. Okay, now we gotta talk to somebody else. Now. I heard from an elder losser that you have some historic documents of the Punja. Yes, oh, she's funky looking, isn't she? Of course we're going to help them. Alrighty, folks. So. We got the history. Okay. So, when we come back next, we will be at the first of the crashed alien sites. And basically all we're going to be doing is running through and killing them. We are going after the GRB ships. And we are currently in the top right corner. Oh, geez, there's not anybody even to kill this time. We're just going to run right to the end. And one shot. Okay, and we'll go over to our little spot again. I am curious. With the lasers, if you hold up the uh, weapon... You wonder what is quicker just to just shoot it rapid firely? Oh. Do more damage to shoot a little lower. Ooh, it got me. Oh no. Oh, hi. I didn't see you before. Ooh, you're not even making through my shield. Yay. Sit down. Woohoo! I want to make sure you jump towards the ceiling. There's usually stuff up there. It's all good. Alright, thank you. And don't don't don't. Alright. Well, I'll use a different weapon each time. Alright, and if you guys are curious, I've run along these. I've never seen any resources or anything. So hold on, folks. We'll be back in one second when we're at the next one. Alright, guys, we're back in a nice green area. We went to the north one. So, alright. Let's light them up. Actually, that uh, laser gun I was using is actually seems like it's a lot better than this thing. a whole lot of nothing, huh? Alright, so let's, let's try the standard AR. Wow, that barely does anything either. That's been upgraded a few times. That's got over a hundred on its, uh... Hmm. Oh, hello. Let me just finish it off the easy way. And then, of course, you know, the last. 
last one, we'll have to figure something different out. We don't want to be doing the same stuff over and over, you know what I mean? Alright. Swink. There we go. Come on now. Alright folks, hold on, and when we come back we'll be at the last one. Alright, so we are at our last one here, and this one is way up here in the north. You can see. change plans. We'll come over here and we'll only shoot the bad guys out of the sky. There's one. Whoa. Right in front of me. Is that it? I think that's it. Alright. Now to do battle. With the one eyed Cyclops. <laughs> Can his shields hold? Is it just me? Does it seem like something? Yeah, it does. Look like there's one behind me. All right, well, we'll get in a sec here. It's not like these guys are doing much to me. Really? Ooh, that was good. Me any ammo either. Not really. Alright, so let's go finish this last one off, then continue on the story. Oh, now you show up, Jordan? A little late, dude. A little late to the party. <sighs> Alright, folks, we'll be back when we hit the old colony. Todd came back with lots of news from the north. You might want to go take a look. He's with Mr. Wiles right now. Okay. There he is. How was the diplomatic mission to the Puja? Okay. Hello, boys and girls. Let's see. Well, at least there's David. Hello. Interesting. Thank you. Give me some time to go through all this data. With the limited translation. I'll probably be stuck most of the time. <laughs> I'm glad I came along on this trip. Just... Okay, alright, that is it. Tink does have... Going? Oh, Tink does have a shopping... Oh, nothing good though. What about you, honey? I don't think Kyle yeah. does. Nope. nope. See ya. Nope. What do you want now? This might work out to our advantage. As far as we're concerned, we should also try to establish contact with the Paja. Todd told me that he has discovered the location of the Paja city. Maybe you two should go take a look, but be careful. If they're not talking, don't force the issue. Ooh, I don't know about that. What do you want now? On an ethical level, I believe it's our duty to help them out. But strategically, I'd rather not. It's a tough decision. Besides, even if we decide to help them, it'll take us a long time to find them a cure. There she is. She wasn't at her post. What do you want now? I'm a doctor, you know. No matter the race or species or nationality. Yeah. Yes, of course. But the way I see it, they were on their way to the stars and someone took that from them. If we can help them get back on track, it'll be a major... 
the one where it postulates that all civilizations in a resource-limited universe are, by nature, self-preserving. Yeah. Alright, back over here to Michael. What do you want now? I figured she's a compassionate lady, but I think we should hold it off as a carrot. Something to put on the negotiations table. We'll end the episode right there, and when we come back, we will go check out this new city with, I think he said Tom. I'll have to look. It'll be at the tail of the tape. Anyways, folks, please like, favorite, and subscribe, and remember, the more you share, the more we can help the devs out, and hopefully, they'll make another game like this. So please. Heads down, your swords and shields up, lads and laddies. And I'll see you again.